Meghan Markle has kept a relatively low profile this year, skipping King Charles's coronation and making few public appearances. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry know they went too far with royal attacks according to a royal expert. The couple are working on rebuilding their brand after struggling to keep it reputable following the allegations made against the royal family and the collapse of their deal with Spotify. As always smash the like button and subscribe to this channel, this way you won't miss our next video in this same channel. There were also doubts cast over their deal with streaming giant Netflix after a flurry of scathing reviews. In their Netflix docu-series, Harry and Meghan, the couple made a series of allegations, with Prince William appearing to take the brunt of it. Meghan is now said to be taking a step back and focusing on getting her brand back on track as the couple work on separate business ventures following a series of claims made against the royal family. Royal biographer Tom Bauer told OK that the pair will find it hard to keep their brand reputable following the collapse of a major deal. He said, they are beginning to taste the medicine that they handed out during the Oprah Winfrey interview. They are finding it very, very hard to keep their brand reputable. They are constantly having to defend themselves and they are grasping for opportunities that don't exist anymore. All she's got is the baggage of the Oprah Winfrey interview and her damnation of the royal family in various successive interviews. That's why she's been so quiet the whole year. She knows they've probably gone too far and she doesn't know how to get out of it now. What is fascinating is how it will end. What will the climax be? Work on their solo projects is now well underway, with Meghan said to be looking into new brand partnerships while Harry focuses on his Netflix deal. The couple had signed a deal with Spotify in 2020, with Meghan releasing just one series of her podcast archetypes before they parted ways from the company. Meghan and Harry released a joint statement with Spotify to unveil the early termination of the contract. In her podcast series, Meghan spoke about her time as a working member of the firm during this, claiming she was forced to carry on with a public appearance after a fire in her son Prince Archie's nursery. Bill Simmons, head of podcast innovation and monetization at Spotify, labeled Harry and Meghan fucking grifters in his own podcast. Jeremy Zimmer, chief executive of Hollywood Agency, United Talent Agency, later commented, turns out Meghan Markle was not a great audio talent or necessarily any kind of talent. Harry's new project will see him return to Africa for a solo documentary about his love of the continent, according to reports. Meanwhile, former actress Meghan began her US relaunch in May as she posed with youngsters on a charity visit and dined with some Hollywood stars before preparing to accept a Women of Vision award. She then signed with WME, the talent agency that has A-list clients on its books, including Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson, Serena Williams, Robert De Niro and Jessica Alba. The signing comes amid rumors that the relaunch of her hit lifestyle blog The Tig is viewed as the best way for her to make big money, especially given the success of Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop and Kourtney Kardashian's Poosh. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when next we drop a video in this same channel, stay safe.